How does the classroom work? The classroom creates a folder in each drive uh, for each class, as well as a folder for each assignment. Students can turn the assignments with just one button, and the assignments so are put into a folder with the students' names. Additionally, they cannot uh, make changes to their assignments after submission. All right. Well, uh, there's a that one. Thank you. 
Okay. This is it's called the stream. Think of it as kind of like your Facebook page, but just for your class. This is the part where you get an assignment, an announcement, it will all show up in here that the uh, <coughs> um, and actually if you look at the top, um, actually if you look at the bottom, there's already a note in there. Um, but all students can make posts in here where you can disable that. I'm gonna show you how to do that. In a moment, a message will appear saying a new item has been posted to stream. Click on it and refresh the page. Pretend that that happened. Uh, does everyone see the assignment in there? Okay. All right. Click open. Teacher, 
Something that's uh, being asked for the code is, is it per class or per assignment? It is, this code is actually for your class. So when you create a new class or you um, start another class, the code will change. And it, it's the computer itself or the classroom program itself gives you the code and generates it. Or if you really want to, you can actually make up your own code. And there's a little spot when you do the teacher session, because right now we have you as students. It will say code where you can click on it so you can show your uh, code to the student, or it will say create new code or regenerate new code. So the code is for, it's different every other class. So it's never going to be the same. So no student can join one class. When a student posts an assignment, it's a common thread just between students and teacher, teacher, and that. Uh, okay, so with the stream, the only thing that like a uh, student can like post into the thing is an announcement. Their assignments and things like that are uh, private just for you as a student. If they type anything on the stream page, it's public. But then the actual assignment view is private. All right. So everyone is on something that looks roughly like. Just for the assignment and a folder just for the class and a folder for the classroom drive. 
automatically order as a Like if you go in your drive right now, we'll be a classroom folder. There will be a, another folder in that folder with the name of the class. Then in that folder, there's a folder with the name of the assignment. If you're a student, that is where your work that assignment will be. If you're a teacher, that's your class. This is where every assignment will be after the students turn it in. So after they turn it in, you can go to this folder, and every assignment that's going to turn in is in that folder. For that particular assignment. For that assignment. <laughs> All right, on this Google Doc, write something, then in the top right you should see a turn in button. Click on it. What you can actually do, this is just for the teachers, but you can actually get a count of how many students are done and how many are not. Then you can actually, if you click on one of these numbers, you can get a list of people that are done and people that are not. So, you know, you see, also, um, something that's pretty neat, uh, if you haven't used Classroom yet, which kind of gets rid of the whole I didn't know thing for students, when you post anything in Google Classroom, homework assignments, or you just post the PowerPoint that you want them to look at it later, or you just post what you did throughout the day so they know if they missed it, or they just want to re-look at it for a test, it sends them emails to their um, email so they know exactly what you posted and it does it right when you post it. Uh, you also can take that off and say I don't want an email sent out so they won't know about it I think in the last we checked. Uh, but you, if that's if you turn it off otherwise it stays on so you can send it out there everyone in your classroom should know if you have something posted or if there's something new or whatever there is. So there's no more of that uh, I didn't know that we had homework or whatever. They're still I forgot. Yeah. Still I forgot. Still be. So is everyone turning in? Does it does it give you some kind of notification? You know, like how sometimes when you do text messaging, now it'll say so and so has seen this message. No, it doesn't do anything. Oh, well, it should. It should. <laughs> that should be really good. Okay. All right. After everyone comes in and submits it, uh, for the teacher, you actually get to view this page. And this is a list of everyone in the class um, just for that assignment. And I can see who's turned it in. Um, it says late because I did this two weeks ago. Um, but anyway, um, you can see who's turned it in, who hasn't. If it's late, you can set a due date when you're creating the assignment. If it's late, it'll show up in here so that you can see it. Um, after a student submits an assignment, they can actually unsubmit it if they want. When they submit it, it blocks them out of that document so they can't make any more edits. And I can actually click on see submission history. You can see it every time they turn it in, and unsend it in, and turn it back in. Um, <coughs> so, like, let's say, yeah, let's say, uh, Mr. Um, if I click on this, this is his Google Doc. <laughs> A wonderful job. Um, I want to have a private comment, and then this is just between uh, me and him. Over here, there is an option to grade that doesn't carry over to power school yet, but it will at some point soon, maybe. Probably. Um, up here at the top. Yes, when they go in to submit their assignment, they can upload anything on YouTube, they can clean, they, they can do whatever. Um, over here at the top, if you click on the folder button, this actually takes you to the folder for the class where I can see what everyone's done. Um, this is just visible to you, the teacher, the students can only see their assignment in the folder, but as a teacher, you can see everything. 
Uh, I see the list of students there. They're alphabetized by the first name. Is there a way we can change it? Yeah. There you go. Students. Nothing changed over here. Um, we click on download. This downloads. Um, something that should be able to import the power school, but it doesn't right now. The download button doesn't really do anything right now. Um, so anyway, let's say you're going through here and you want to give it back to the student. Um, if we, if once the power school is working, we grade it in here. If not, we're just going to leave it blank. We click on this return button. And now to know that you want this email to the student. And now they can edit their doc again and says, hey, I've seen this, your value is um, If you've already gone through and grouped your students, <laughs> like with your uh, Gmail contacts, you can invite that whole group at once. I know some teachers do that. Any other questions? Do you have any other questions down the road for the library? Thank you.